Muhammad ibn Musa al-Khwarizmi, formerly Latinized as Algorithmi, was a Persian mathematician, astronomer, and geographer during the Abbasid Caliphate, a scholar in the House of Wisdom in Baghdad. In the 12th century, Latin translations of his work on the Indian numerals introduced the decimal positional number system to the Western world. Al-Khwarizmi's The Compendious Book on Calculation by Completion and Balance Balancing presented the first systematic solution of linear and quadratic equations in Arabic. He is often considered one of the fathers of algebra. He revised Ptolemy's geography and wrote on astronomy and astrology. Some words reflect the importance of al khwarizmis contributions to mathematics. Algebra is derived from al-jabr, one of the two operations he used to solve quadratic equations. Algorithm and algorithm stem from algorithmi, the Latin form of his name. His name is also the origin of garismo and of algorismo, both meaning digit, life. Few details of al khwarizmis life are known with certainty. He was born in a Persian family and Ibn al-Nadim gives his birthplace as Khwarizm in Greater Khorasan. Muhammad ibn Jara al-Tabari gives his name as Muhammad ibn Musa al-Khwarizmi al-Majasi al-Qutrubuli. The epithet al-Qutrubuli could indicate he might instead have come from Qutrubul, a viticulture district near Baghdad. However, Rasht suggests, there is no need to be an expert on the period or a philologist to see that Al-Tabari's second citation should read Muhammad ibn Musa al-Khwarizmi, and al-Majasi al-Qutrubuli, and that there are two people between whom the letter has been omitted in an early copy. This would not be worth mentioning if a series of errors concerning the personality of al-Khwarizmi, occasionally even the origins of his knowledge, had not been made. Recently, G. J. Tuma, with naive confidence constructed an entire fantasy on the error which cannot be denied the merit of amusing the reader. Regarding al khwarizmis religion, Tuma writes, Another epithet given to him by Al-Abari, al majasi would seem to indicate that he was an adherent of the old Zoroastrian religion. This would still have been possible at the time for a man of Iranian origin, but the pious preface to al khwarizmis algebra shows that he was an orthodox Muslim. So al abaris epithet could mean no more than that his forebears, and perhaps he in his youth, had been Zoroastrians. Ibn al-Nadim's Kitab al firist includes a short biography on al khwarizmi together with a list of the books he wrote. al khwarizmi accomplished most of his work in the period between 813 and 833. After the Muslim conquest of Persia, Baghdad became the center of scientific studies and trade, and many merchants and scientists from as far as China and India traveled to this city, as did al khwarizmi He worked in Baghdad as a scholar at the House of Wisdom established by Caliph al-Mamun, where he studied the sciences and mathematics, which included the translation of Greek and Sanskrit scientific manuscripts. Douglas Morton Dunlop suggests that it may have been possible that Muhammad ibn Musa al-Khwarizmi was in fact the same person as Muhammad ibn Musa. Ibn Shakir, the eldest of the three Banu Musa, 